So the Checkmate 214 study was a landmark study that was conducted in patients with advanced renal cell carcinoma having received no prior therapy with clear cell histology. It was a trial that looked at the combination of nivolumab plus ipilimumab versus sunitinib um, for patients with advanced disease and demonstrated improvements in overall survival um, in patients um, uh, in the overall uh, patient population and also in those with intermediate and poor risk disease. Now, something that has been of quite interest has been looking has been understanding what are the patterns of progression post receipt of IO therapy in the frontline space for people with metastatic disease. And, and why this is important, I think, is, um, you know, this concept that has emerged of, um, you know, oligoprogression and can focal therapy be introduced to treat oligoprogression, um, also pace of progression. If somebody has rapidly progressive disease, what's the appropriate strategy versus somebody who, um, you know, has slow progression. And, and I think the other critical point is given that the brain is a sanctuary site, um, really trying to understand um, how uh, metastases to the brain may evolve in patients that um, are receiving treatment with nivolumab plus ipilimumab. And what we basically showed, we what we did was we took the cohort of patients who actually had um, received treatment in um, the context of uh, Checkmate 214, and we looked at their response that was assessed by independent radiology review um, via RESIST, and we categorized patients into three um, or I should say four categories, um, patients who had progression of their target lesions only, um, patients who had progression of non-target lesions only, patients who had new lesions that developed and that was why they had progressed, or mixed, which was some combination of one of the above three. And we looked at the outcomes, um, you know, and we looked at sort of descriptively um, what was the proportion of patients in each of these categories in the Nevo Ipi arm and in the Sutent arm. Um, and we also looked at, you know, um, location of where um, patients were progressing. And what we actually demonstrated was in patients who received nivolumab plus ipilimumab, there seemed to be a higher percentage of patients who had new lesion progression only, meaning their sites of disease their existing sites of the disease were controlled and the reason they ended up, you know, uh, discontinuing therapy or stopping therapy was because they had a new spot that developed. Um, and what we learned was that brain metastases progression in the brain was also seen, um, at a, a little bit higher, um, you know, frequency. Um, the numbers are really low with regards to the um, number of people that had brain metastases themselves, but the um, data sort of highlights that um, in people who have um, post-response um, progression, there seems to be an increased risk of, um, you know, uh, disease within the brain in that context. So I think really what the um, conclusions are is that there's differential patterns of tumor relapse at disease progression observed after long-term follow-up for patients on nevo-ipi versus sunitinib. The most common type of progression observed with nevo-ipi versus sunitinib was new lesion-only progression, particularly in a subset of patients who had progressed after having a response um, which could potentially have therapeutic implications for focal um, metastasis directed therapy and, and systemic therapy post progression. And I think future prospective studies are really needed to conclusively determine the clinical value of the different patterns of radiographic progression on patient outcomes. So whether you change management based on the pattern of progression, whether that is associated with an improvement in outcome needs to be investigated. Um, you know, and I think in particular, the data presented here um, for patients with brain metastases really support kind of, um, 
you know, this continues to be an unmet need in the clinic, uh, management of brain metastases in people that are on IO therapy. So kind of developing strategies to really um, treat those individuals will be important. 